Templates allow you to change the look and feel of your slides without having to go through and individually edit every single slide. Now this comes in really handy because you can quickly try out multiple looks of your slides in a very short amount of time. You also can save different templates for later use and even share templates across ProPresenter installations. Now templates aren't just used for regular song slides, they're also used for the Twitter feature, um, Bibles, and even multi-screen. So let's check out how this works. So I'm gonna to go to template and under here you'll see all the templates that we can apply. Right now we have the default center text template applied. And below that you'll see some high quality lower third templates that have been preloaded from ProPresenter. Now these are both in 16.9 and 4x3. And to apply a template, all I have to do is go over and click on it and it's gonna apply it to the currently selected slide. So you can see here we have a nice lower third template with some different grungy backgrounds and some colored text. And this can work great for any sort of uh, background that you choose. Now to change out the template, again, all we have to do is go down, find a template we like, and we can apply it. So now we can quickly apply this candles background, um, which doesn't look great with this uh, motion background, but would look great with other backgrounds. And again, these are all preloaded inside ProPresenter. So now let's create a template. So I'm gonna go over to template, and I'm gonna go down here, and I'm gonna create a new template. Now this is a template group, and I'm just gonna call it um, my custom template group, and I'm gonna hit save. Now this is gonna bring up the template editor, which looks exactly like the slide editor because it's going to apply these templates to slides. So anything that you can do to a slide, you can also create a template to apply to all of your slides. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab our text tool here. We're gonna create a little text box um, and I'm gonna create my default um, text that I'm gonna use for songs. And this is just gonna be a standard uh, text here. So I'm gonna stretch out my text box here. I'm gonna go to my uh, font options here and I'm gonna say that I want this um, to put the text at the top of the box always. I wanna do like a 54 point font and we're gonna go up here and we're gonna change our font to let's say Tahoma. So I'm just gonna scroll down here until I find Tahoma um, and we're gonna say regular and we're gonna do bold and make sure it's at that 54 that we want. Maybe do a two point outline. And then let's go to our object settings and down here to shadow and let's do a drop shadow but I want a radius so it's kind of feathered. I'm gonna do a five point radius of this text. And then we can go to our uh, slide label and we're gonna just say this is our normal text, if I can spell today. And we're gonna hit enter to confirm that. And now uh, we can go through and we can close out our slide editor. And we can go to template, down to custom, and we can apply our normal text. And you can see that it's applied it to this one slide because that was the slide that's selected. Now to apply it to the whole presentation, I'll click off of that slide, hit normal text, and it will apply it to all of my slides here. So our text is a little big, we have some of the words going off, so we can easily edit that. So we're gonna go to edit template group. We're gonna click on our text. We'll center that back up with the little uh, yellow line there shows us that we're at center. Go back to our font and let's try maybe going down to like a 46. And now we can hit close this out, go uh, click off to apply to all, and then we're gonna go to custom, normal text, and you'll see now our text is looking nice and we have nice big text with a nice um, drop shadow there. But now let's uh, create our own lower third template. So we're gonna go back to custom and we're gonna do edit template group. And this is gonna allow us to edit and add more slides. So down here, I'm just gonna hit the add slide button. Now it's using the default template, so we're gonna actually uh, delete this. We're gonna go back to our normal text. We're gonna hit command C, and then we're gonna hit command V to paste this. And we're gonna paste this text into here because I already have this formatted the way I want. I just want it for a lower third. So now we need to add in an image. So I'm gonna hit the new image icon and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna grab these wood planks that I got from cgtextures.com. So you can see here we have some wood planks that we're gonna use and now I wanna actually crop this image. I don't wanna like scale it, I just wanna use part of the image. So what we can do is go over to the settings icon here for this and instead of scale to fit, we're gonna do scale to fill. 
And this is gonna try fill the frame fully. And what happens is when I start um, bringing this down, you're gonna see it starting to crop the image. So I'm gonna go until I can just see a little bit of these top two plank boards. And then I'm just gonna move this down to the bottom of the frame here to make our lower third. And then you can see, well, we can't see the text right now, so I'm gonna use the layer ordering buttons and send that back. Grab our text here and just move this down just a little bit with my arrow keys. And to make sure we can fit four lines of text in this, I'm just gonna do one, two, three. And we can see that we don't fully see four lines of text. So I'm gonna move this up until we have our full four lines of text that we want. And then we're gonna just take our background here and move that up just a little bit further so we can see all of our different text on the screen at one time. Then we'll go over and we're gonna name this with a slide label of lower wood. And then we can close out the template editor. And then we're gonna to go to template we're gonna to go to custom and we're gonna apply our new lower wood, lower third template. Again, it only applied it to this slide because that's the one I had selected to apply it to all of the slides. We can go to custom and hit it again for all of them. And we have a nice uh, wood background here for our text that looks great with this uh, background there. So now you've created your first few templates there and it's very easy as you can see, as soon as you know how to create a slide, you can create a template and you can save template groups for series and all sorts of different things. One handy feature is that once a template has been applied, it no longer holds any connection to the template. So you can um, go and alter that slide and it won't alter the actual template, which means you can actually alter a template and then save that template out as a new template. To understand what I'm saying, check this out. So I'm gonna go to the editor, and now let's start altering this slide. The first thing that I wanna do is resize this text box so it's on the screen here and we can scale this back out until it fits and we can center it we can just kind of move it around until we see that yellow line now let's center our text and then let's change the font so i want to use this american typewriter bold and then i want to change my font color to a nice bright white and then we need to make our outline a little thicker so we can see our text so we're going to make a two point outline and we're going to make that outline in a maybe dark brown color. So like go in here and find a nice dirty dark brown. And you're starting to see that our text is popping out a good bit there. Now let's go over to our object settings and mess around with our drop shadow here. Um, let's apply a length of maybe five and a radius of maybe eight. So we have a nice fuzzy drop shadow there. And let's check out our opacity and maybe kick that up a little bit so it's a little stronger. So we can start to see our text a little better. Then we need to make this text box just slightly larger so that our text all fits on the screen. So now we've gone through and we've edited this one slide to look right. Now I wanna actually make this a template. And again, this hasn't altered the template that we have over here that we originally applied. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and we're gonna to go to template and we're gonna do um, save selected slides as template. And when we do this, we actually get an option of where we wanna save this as. We can um, either save over one of these current groups or we're gonna just save this as my lower third altered group. And I'm just gonna hit save. And now we have a new template group in here called lower third altered. And we can apply this template one to the entire group here by uh, clicking on that again. And you can see that it applies it to all of our different slides. So it's that easy to alter a slide and then apply it to all of our different templates. So hopefully you see the power of templates and how easy they are to use because they definitely will come in handy.